The Bible tells us to get married if we want to engage in sex. I believe everyone should get married. At the same time, I don't think some people know what they are getting into when they get married. Depending on your gender, there are particular roles you have to play. For the husband, he has to honor and love his wife. The wife have to be subject to her husband and submit to him. That may be very disgusting for some women to hear, having to submit to a man. That is the thing about it. If you don't want to submit to a man, then you should probably not get married. Because how can your marriage work if both people aren't willing to follow the rules of marriage? Humans may have their own opinions about marriage. They may tell you it should be ran in this way and that way. But did humans make marriage? Or was it made by God? If it was made by God, shouldn't we go by his rules if we want our marriage to work as time passes by perhaps in some countries some rules may change if those rules come in conflict with the rules the rules of marriage then we probably should not follow them and follow what the bible says if you are planning on to get married, like the main thing you have to get rid of is selfishness. We need to be selfless. You can't only think about the way you feel. You have to consider your spouse's feelings. Your needs only don't matter. Marriage can be very difficult, but at the same time, I believe if you do it right, it can change you to a better person. I believe being selfish can really destroy a marriage so much. Let me say this too, and I don't think some people understand this. Some people may believe they can live as they are single in a marriage. Like everything you were doing when you were single, you can do it in a marriage. And that is not the case. Some things you can't do. And some people may believe if their spouse complain about something they are doing in the marriage, the other person may think that the spouse is being controlling. Did that make any sense? Spouse A is complaining to spouse B about what spouse B is doing. Spouse B is being selfish, but thinks that spouse A is being controlling. Spouse B thinks that he or she is able to do whatever they want in the marriage. Spouse B is selfish, perhaps maybe ignorant toward what marriage is. When you are married, let me say this in my own words, and I may be wrong about this. When you are married, it's like you are chaining yourself. As if you are handcuffed. You may have some freedom, but your freedom may not be as much as it was when you were single. 
some people may disagree with that, but I believe this is very true. If you want all the freedom that you want, then you need to stay single. As I stated before, when you are married, there are certain roles that you have to play. You can't do whatever you like. Some things you may have to consult with your spouse first. Some things. When you are married, how can I say this? You are like a prisoner in a sense, not exactly like a prisoner, but something like a prisoner for the man and the woman. I would say it is like chaining yourself with the other person. I would say I think that is true for the physical and for the spiritual. I believe when people want to live as they are single in a marriage, I think that will destroy a marriage. A marriage is like a partnership, not like an individual thing. If you are used to coming in your apartment or house at 2, 3 a.m., you probably can't do that when you are married. Some people may say, Kevin, why can't I do that? Well, your spouse may not be comfortable with that. Some people may think that is controlling. If you think that is controlling, then you should not get married. You are not free to do whatever you like when you are married. I think this... I was going to say this is common sense, but in this day of age, I don't think this is common sense. The woman should not take bad advantage of the man, and the man should not do the same. Both people should honor and respect each other. It truly should be like a partnership. Some people may say the woman and the man are equal. The man and woman are humans, so they are equal in being humans. But when it comes down to authority, we are not equal. When it comes down to being children of God, we are equal. When it comes down to certain body parts, we are not equal. As I stated before, God made marriage a particular way. So if you think that God gave more power to the man and less power to the woman, that is something you need to bring up to God. If a man or woman get married and believe they can do whatever they want, how can you expect the marriage to really work out? Like what do you believe is going to happen? I believe disaster. This is one of the reasons why you need to really think long and hard before you get married. Maybe consult others that have been married for a while. I believe selfishness kills marriage. May God bless us.